here I am in the Bangalore State Forest. And as you can see from this little thing at the top there, it's not going to show me, <laughs> up there near the top there, I have very, very little mobile reception. And uh, because I've got very little mobile reception, it's very difficult to see. And I'm in the caravan, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, get things done on a mobile. So if I go to the internet there, and I, and I call up a new page, let's call up something new. Hello. Um, oops, I'm not looking for that. This a new page. And I would say I want to go to the Bureau of Meteorology. Okay. Alright, so I call that up. You'll notice nothing much happens. Oh, that one did happen after a short period of time. Alright. But if I want to go, for example, something like Met Eye, right? Okay. To see what the temperature is here. Or see what the temperature is anywhere else in Australia. Go to that. Let's move that out of the way. This is actually going pretty fast at the moment. Usually it doesn't go this fast because it's only I've got two bars of reception. Anyway, I'm about to show you what this is all about in a minute. Okay, I'll look at the current temperature. Right. So there's the current temperature all around Australia. Right. And we're here somewhere. Somewhere in there. Uh, near just north of Canberra. So if I go into there, and I just want to load that up. It's going to load up slow. Okay, well, is it fast enough for me? Okay, if I go in there, there's Canberra. Move me down out of the way. Sydney, Canberra. All right, temperatures around about 28, all right, around this area. Okay. All right. But the point is, when things are lowing, lowing slow like that, for example, I want it to do something else. Usually this goes very slow, so I'll go and let's have a look, say, um, um, ball where we are roughly. If I click on that, it loads, it loaded pretty quick. The temperature's going to be 30 degrees here today. Because sometimes it goes very slow, and I want to know why it's running slow. So the reason, one of the ways of finding out, I know why it's running slow, because I've got a, a very slow internet connection. But... Uh, I want to see, sometimes it doesn't seem to be running any internet at all. I don't know if it's coming or not. So, but if you go, uh, swipe down twice from the top, in my case, and go into settings, and on your settings, you go to where uh, the um, uh, network and internet, I've discovered under data usage there, it shows all the data I've used, down this bottom section here, gives you two things, well, four things. Theoretical upload link, which is 50 megabyte a second. When I got less than one bar, it drops down to, you know, one megabyte per second, and the current upload uh, upload rate. Also, the theoretical download rate, that's 100 megabit per second, which is impossible, I couldn't get that, and what the download rate is. So if I leave that screen open, and now I change back to something, and I go to, for example, something Let's go to um, uh, just type in anything. Dales, whatever Dales is. Oh, uh, where is Dales in England? Oh, I go there and I want to look up Wikipedia. Oh, I've touched it and nothing much is happening. Oh, eventually something does happen. Something's happening. Oh, it hasn't all loaded. Oh, I want to go there. So if I switch back and go to this page, I can see how much theoretic what that theoretical download, but what the actual download rate is. So I can see that data is actually coming. Like it's stopped now at zero uh, bytes per second. But often I need to look at that to see how slow the data is moving along. For example, if I go to um, YouTube at the moment, <laughs> they probably won't be able to show me anything. I'll go to YouTube rather than YouTube. Where am I? Go to have a look at that. New pipe rather than YouTube. Right. Okay. It's going. It's linking. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. All right. And I'll call up a YouTube video. So it's taking a long while to call it up. If I switch back to here, I can see if the data is actually transferring or not. All right. 
So there we are. I've got a uh, theoretical data rate, current data rate, 26 kilobytes a second. I didn't even know this existed. Also, by the way, notice um, here's my how much data I've used recently, all right, um, from the 13th of December to now, and it's flattening out. So, all right, so you can see how much data you've used. All right, go back to that one, and so you can see that in the last I don't know what period of time it is. I've sent 1.5 something gigabyte and received 13.11 gigabyte of mobile data. The reason I'm using mobile data is because I'm mobile. I haven't got a modem, I haven't got a router. So that's how you can use uh, the settings and mobile data usage. And I'll quickly go back and show you all that again. All right, here we are. We go into uh, settings. All right. And you go into uh, network and internet, all right? and then you go into data usage, and there all that information that I talked about is down the bottom. Theoretical upload link, theoretical download link, uh, and how much data you've actually sent and received. All right, there we go. All right, any questions? Send me an email. Otherwise, bye.